Hey everybody, welcome to the Centitar Fragrance Channel. Thank you so much for being here. You've come to the right place for all things fragrance related, doing reviews, learning about fragrances, fragrance news, and much more. Today is a fragrance review. I do make top 10 lists, and my next video, like I promised ladies, will be a top 10 list of fragrances not to blind buy. Fragrances you might want to try a little bit before you buy them. So, Let's jump into the fragrance review of today. Let's not waste any time at all. Today, we're going to be talking about Moschino's Umo. Moschino Umo is a very interesting fragrance, and I'm going to do my very best to do it justice. So let's start off with the presentation. So the bottle has a striped look. Very interesting. Kind of mysterious. You get a question mark. I think that's what they're going for in this fragrance. That's going to help us, you know, know, to know what to look for. So, and we get a classic looking presentation. The bottle does look nice. The cap is a little bit lightweight. But overall, especially at discounter gray market prices, this fragrance is below $30, sometimes below $25. So, you're getting a lot of juice for the money. This is not a regular 3.4. I believe this is a, a 4.2 a 4 ounce bottle. So you're getting more juice for your money here as well. So a lot of juice, not much money. What does it smell like? Is it worth that much money? Let's talk about it. So what you get with this fragrance is very interesting. Let me try to do it justice. But before I do, let's talk about the sprayer real quick. That's what you get, guys. It's a good sprayer. Not bad at all. Not the best, not the worst. But it works. So Mushino Umo is a very interesting fragrance. It has classic DNA. I'm not saying it's green at all. It's not green whatsoever. I'm saying it has kind of a classic vintage vibe, kind of like you get off Bentley Intense, a little bit classy, uh, perhaps a little bit of a mature vibe, but the fragrance certainly has that kind of feel. It has a little bit of an old school richness to it and a little tiny bit of an old school powdery feel to it. But why does this fragrance get so much love? Why was it almost hyped a couple years ago? And uh, then the popularity just died down a little bit. This fragrance is, is simply amazing, if I can share my opinion, if I can uh, give it some praise. This fragrance does smell a little bit old school in that way. It almost smells a tiny bit resinous, but what this fragrance has is charm. Guys, sometimes we underestimate a fragrance that has charm. Reflection Man has charm. Fragrances like that that sometimes are soft, uh, easy going fragrances. I think Dolce & Gabbana the one is a fragrance that certainly has charm. This fragrance has it. It has a little bit of class, a little bit of a romantic side to it. Even though it's classy, perhaps it's slightly mature. If you're, I think if you're a guy who's below 20, you might find this fragrance a little bit old-fashioned, but if you're 20 plus, especially 25 plus, or like vintage fragrances, I think you're going to like this fragrance. It's kind of a middle ground. It uh, is not too old and it's really not too new, but this fragrance is soft, it's classy, it's sophisticated. For a younger guy, it might be harder to pull this off because of that feel, because of that kind of fragrance. But what is so great about this fragrance and what is so different about this fragrance is even though it's a classic kind of soft aromatic fragrance with maybe with a little bit of a classic DNA and a tiny bit of powder, it, uh, it does have that romantic charm. That makes it a real standout fragrance. I don't know of many fragrances that do this, are able to do this, especially in the designer world. Um, the original Hugo Boss... Um, it's kind of forgotten. It's a vintage fragrance. That's the only fragrance I think in the designer world that has a lot of similarities in a way. But this one just stands out. The quality here is above average for a designer. You get a lot of uh, juice. The performance is actually not bad. Um, I get arm's length projection or so. So it's above average and it lasts a good amount of time. It lasts six hours or so. But it seems to want to linger forever on clothes. Um, this fragrance, in my opinion, is superior or superb 
to two fragrances. Now this might be controversial, but hear me out. I think this fragrance is superior to Loam by YSL. And I say that because YSL gives me very poor performance. Yes, YSL is more, uh, perhaps a tiny bit more youthful and uh, is softer. So people who want more of an inoffensive fragrance might lean towards this one. This one is not in, in a, it's not offensive whatsoever. And uh, it has better performance than Loam. It's still easy going and it's more date appropriate and it's more classy. And for that kind of DNA that Loam had, with that kind of little bit of a ginger, a little bit of an apple, a little bit of powder, a comforting feel. I think this is a far better type of DNA or fragrance composition. Another fragrance that I think this one, frankly, is superior to is Reflection Man. And that is controversial for sure. But I think it is because this fragrance in the air, it definitely there is a, you can't mistake that the quality is better with the Emwage close to skin, but in the air, they both have a very similar fragrance. I think if you've got people to test the fragrances side by side, especially if they smell them in the air, not directly on their skin or a piece of paper, that they, I think they would find these fragrances very similar. Then again, this fragrance has better projection, believe it or not, than, than Reflection Man on my skin. Reflection Man gives me poor or just average projection. This one is above average. Reflection Man gives me four, maybe five hours of longevity. This one gives me six and sticks to close. So it has better longevity. And the price, the price just slays Reflection Man. So I, I am, I'm not ha trying to hype this fragrance per se, but I am trying to give it some attention. This fragrance is classy and it's, and it's bold in its own way. I think it's very a very good fragrance for spring nights, perhaps uh, early fall. Um, it's it's just a charming fragrance for those situations. I don't think this is a good summer fragrance because although again it's not a heavy fragrance by any means, there is complexity here. There is a big variety of notes. I could try to read them off to you. I'm sure it has a tiny bit of vetiver. I'm sure it has. You know, classic things like ginger and maybe a small amount of apple and some resiny notes. Um, I don't think this fragrance has any musk per se. This fragrance is wonderful for the money. Guys, I think this is one of the standout best cheapies that you can get your hands on. So I know on this fragrance channel that I like niche. And I've been talking a good amount of, you know, about niche a good bit. But uh, I do like appreciate cheapies, especially when I think the quality and uh, the just to, you know it can it can stand up for itself, and I think this is one of them. I think if you like cheapies like Bentley Intense, then you should give this one a serious try. Again, if you're allergic or just hate powdery fragrances, this is not a very strong powdery fragrance by any means, but the little bit might be enough to set you off. But again. I appreciate you for hearing me out on this fragrance. Let me know if this sounds like a good fragrance. It's got the resin. It's got a very pleasant, playful nature in a sophisticated way, in a very different way. I find this fragrance unique. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you own it, if you've tried it. I'm very happy to have heard about this fragrance a while back. There was a number of people who I love in the fragrance community who just recommended this fragrance and started talking about it. So I don't know if I could give credit to just one person alone. So thank you guys for watching this review. Thank you so much for being here. If you stuck around to the end, please like, comment, and subscribe. So until next time, guys and gals, I'll see you. Let me know how I'm doing. Check out this fragrance. I really recommend it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.